Oh my god, they start earlier than I thought. God damn it. Hold on. <laughs> I was supposed to get come here early a little bit. Start my own thing. Ah, uh, ah, uh, take the glitches. Okay, okay. Say some stuff. Why am I here in the first place? Okay, so the reason why I'm here is because uh, I I love David Guetta and uh, I've started to follow this sets, Ultra Music Festival sets uh, since 2014 that was... Ooh. Oh! wanna be a sexy bitch with a, a mashup of a different song I cannot remember the name but we all know this song She's nothing like the girl you never seen before. Like thing you can compare to your neighborhood hoe. She's ruined without being disrespectful. The way of moving, moving, I can't take no more. Final day again, my favorite DJ. Yes, yes. So I'm definitely like watching this live stream of Ultra Music Festival because of David Guetta. This is the main reason why I'm here. Even though there were a lot of other good sets during the years this is delirious la 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 damn the start the set is really good so far um they ha there have never been a bad set but um it's pretty different like he started things a little bit different this time sometimes I really love the fact that um, David started to do this Jack Back thing on the side because I really like this house music he's creating with Jack Back. And I like his jacket, like he's he's so smooth and sexy on this one today. He looks really solid and fresh. Yeah, so the other sets I was talking about, you know, in 2015, there was a Jack U collaboration with uh, Skrillex and Diplo. They did a great job. Uh, they even brought Justin Bieber at that time. It was an amazing set. Also, DJ Snake's set uh, a couple of years ago, uh, I think it was in 2016 or 17, was definitely also amazing. So I've been following other sets, uh, other artists I like. Uh, I remember Alice in the Wonderland. She did a great job too, and like she brought to the uh, mix uh, Kanye West's song Fade. At that time, it was my favorite song uh, in 2016. And I remember her playing it, like, and I was like, damn, yes, like, somebody else appreciates that song, you know? She cried during the stage, and I, and, like, it was a big moment for her, like, she, she played uh, at the Ultra Music Festival for the first time. It was her dream, you know, to be here in Ultra Music Festival, and she played it, it was amazing uh, to see, you know, somebody's dream is achieved. But yeah, so, like, a lot of great sets, uh, a lot of uh, amazing history behind Ultra Music Festival already. This is the main stage, like this is the main rave party pretty much uh, across the world. Like do you see a lot of flags, Canada right now on the screen, and people always like put their flags and uh, they they showcase their uh, nationality pretty much. For Oh my god! Two greatest songs of all time! The Rudy Saint Storm and uh, Love Is Gone by David Guetta. Love is gone After all that we've been through Then that's right is wrong Now that the love is gone Okay, I'm gonna dance to this one because this is the best crossover of all time. Top 10 Anime crossovers is happening right now. Damn, look at the atmosphere. Yeah, we knew, of course we knew that David Gitter has a techno allies called Jack Back. Damn, fun fact of the new Life Arena. Oh yeah, you guys are right. Okay, that I didn't know. This is a new arena, you guys are right. Yeah, usually it was like an arena. Uh, I remember seeing like a couple buildings like on the side, on the camera, but uh, now it's not there. Like, it's a, it's a new arena, yeah. Damn, like, this girl is having the time of her life. Ooh. Wait, what song is this? It's familiar, but I cannot remember to be honest, this song. 
Oh, is it a na 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 like I do? It's a it's a track that landed on my uh, top 100 best songs of 2018 last year. You should take your body to and nobody love you like I do. Titanium. He used to play Titanium at the end always, but now I think he's changing that rule. He used to finish the the shows with Titanium. I'm bulletproof, nothing to lose. Fire away, fire away. Oh, it's a new mix. Okay, okay. It's your mega. Oh. Woo! Damn. Yeah, David said that um, it usually takes two months to prepare all the mashups to be ready for this kind of a set of Ultra Music Festival. Like, because you don't want to fuck up, fuck this thing up. Because it's pretty important, it's like, it stays on YouTube forever. And because it's like such a big show, everybody's watching it, you gotta deliver. So yeah, David Guetta is preparing like for two months for this event. But I love the new remixes there. They're hitting hard again, as usual. You know, like every year there's new mix, but they're all mind-blowing. Oh, I'm David Guetta, okay, okay, okay. Come on, come on, let's get it. Let go. Hey, 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 hey. A lot of beautiful girls over there, a lot of handsome boys. Uh, always uh, great, great individuals coming to the show as well. Everybody is beautiful, everybody is handsome, all, all is love, everything is love. Missy Elliot? Damn, I, I'm really loving this remix. I usually um, tend to download this. Um, it turns to a bad by Vasi, uh, by the get in Vasi. Bro, I'm definitely downloading this uh, hour set on iPod and playing it on my car. <laughs> Bro, that shift was mind blowing. From Missy early to bad, that's crazy, bro. The visuals are coming along too. Who is this? Who? What is this song? I'm really loving it. I gotta download. I gotta know the name. Gotta add it to Apple Music. This mix is coming along really, really well, bro. Shit. The beat, so fire, bro. Oh, I'm already hearing that party without me is coming. A party without me. Let's do it, bro. Hey, classic mix at this point. Let me see you fucking ass. <laughs> I fucking love your ultra. Yes, we love you too, bro. We love you too. I've seen him in live actually in uh, 2017 when he was in San Diego. It was a fantastic experience, just like the one right now. Oh, okay. Wait, live from home? <laughs> That's crazy. They're doing that? That's crazy, bro. And they're knowing that. The, these people. That's crazy. I've never seen that before. I think it's the first time they're doing that. We want to see everybody from the front to the back jump as fucking high as you can. Can we do that? Yes. I said, can we do that? Yes. <laughs> David, let's get it. Alright, David, go. David is like working fast right now. He's, he's trying to switch the mixes, maybe. I think he has a Let question now in his head. After all these years, Ultra is probably one of the only shows that makes me so nervous that I get sick in my stomach for two days before I jump on stage. Yeah. And I always want to deliver something for you. 
Okay. That's what I was like saying. But like he has a question right now. What he should. I just feel so happy to be here with you. That's awesome. What I he should play. Through. Like he's thinking right now. What he should play. And I'm always trying to take the opportunity to present new people. Should he calm down the mix so right now? After world, like they, being so hyped. <laughs> <come up. laughs> Or he so should keep playing uh, at that same level of intensity of the hype. I swear this guy is a fucking monster producer. Who is this guy? All right. Who is so his name? What's his name? <laughs> okay, so they created a new track for us. Hopefully. All right, it's taking off, bro. It's taking off. It's going somewhere. Okay, so far the the intensity of the beats. Are on the same level, like this. This particular beat is the same, on on the same level as the previous one, but I feel like it's gonna slow down a little bit. I know that uh, David Guetta has a mix of Billie Eilish, "Bury a Friend." I'm not sure if he's gonna use it though, right? Like on this set, I think he's he was definitely planning to, um, but we'll see if it's, if he will actually de deliver that uh, remix of Billie Eilish song. Yeah, right now he's cooking something. He's preparing like. Major switch from this right now. Okay, it's it's switching to Jack Back stuff. Okay, Hispa is it Spain? Yes, yeah, Sp España, Spanish black. Really want to visit it again. <laughs> Guess who won Spain last World Cup? <laughs> Russia. Even if I'm not a Russian guy, I'm pretty close to Russians. Our country, Uzbekistan, is pretty close to Russia. We watch their movies. We listen to their music as well. We listen to American stuff and we watch American movies as well. But Russian culture is really close to us because we have people from Russia. I mean, Russian people living in, uh, in uh, Uzbekistan still. So that's the reason I'm wearing this right now. I'm representing uh, <laughs> a particular country as well. How do you guys do this so well? Like, my shape is not... <laughs> It's not really working, it's, it's okay, but it's not that good. Right. So if you're ready to follow me. Yeah, definitely. Let's get that groove, boy. Hey. It's familiar song, familiar lyrics. Don't do a lot. Oh, it's a... A Sev Perg, plain Jane. United States. Hey. Oh, okay, okay, fine. <laughs> I'll take it, I guess. <laughs> she just needs to give her address and I'll be there for this stuff. I cannot show it on me though. <laughs> what she showed, because like. My parents watch it sometimes, <laughs> watch my videos. <laughs> oh, I'm hearing... Ta, ta, ta. I, I know that record. Um, what's the name of it? I'm losing it. Yeah. I'm losing it. Oh, Fisher. Yeah, that's a good song. Though. That song, Losing It, which is about to come, uh, was nominated for Grammy for the best dance recording. Come on. But it's a remix, though. More appropriately to, more appropriately to say it, mashup. Of losing it and some other beat. I'm losing it. Oh, I told you, bro. Be loud. But I didn't expect it to be uh, matched up with losing it. It's cool. I wanna end me. Where do we go? Powerful. I like the camera movement like this. It's a kind of a, a, an addition to this Ultra Music Festival. They added some new things, uh, and, and the main arena as well it has changed, which is interesting, which is nice. Argentinian flag. Lionel Messi. Okay, I, I'm shazamming in this right now, right the fuck now, because it sounds really good, bro. Damn, look at that, like the blue lighting, 
like sprinkling. It's like it's uh, amazing. It's amazing. Loving this new production that you get. Eh? Yeah, he's on fire, and he's a living legend, definitely. And I like his personality a lot. I've seen his interviews, and he's such a good, cool guy. You know, like I uh, really respect this dude. He's almost 50, but like he's still relevant to this day. He's keeping himself relevant to the dance game. Even though other people are much, much younger than him, there's only David Guetta and Tiesto when it comes to old heads of the dance. You know what we're gonna do? First time played in 2007. Turn up the on stage. Biggest hit When Love Takes Over? At that time? No more lights, no more You're saying that When Love Takes Over, even you though it's a great song, it's the biggest hit of David Guetta's uh, life? Uh, music career? But it's not true. And When Love Takes Over came out in 2010, so that means they actually mean Yes. So they're not saying that the biggest hit of his at that time. They're actually saying Bin Love Takes Over is the biggest hit of the Guetta throughout his career. That doesn't make sense. Like he had much bigger tracks. And I'm totally fine with it being so totally hit uh, like the biggest hits of the Guetta's career because like it's such a great song, but that's just simply not true when it comes to numbers. Titanium, Play Hard, they, they did much bigger numbers for David. Okay, so he's calming the place a little bit down. To bring something up. What exactly though? Damn, the visuals, the purple. How it lands on audience. Of course. Hey. Work hard, play hard, work hard. Play hard, work hard, play hard, I need this show jump. Ha. Jumping jacks. <laughs> From the beginning. In the ocean. Now, I wanna become a surfer and swim, like... Either swim or become a surfer better now. One of the only few songs from Post Malone I actually like. Let me give you everything you know better now, better now. This makes it so dope, bro. This, this girl was actually pretty cute. Hey, hey, this crazy guy, this crazy guy, bro. Damn, my brains, <laughs> they're moving from one spot to another. Yeah, hey! <laughs> they showed her again. <laughs> oh, show her more. <laughs> I think I know the song. Yes, it's Ring the Alarm. I covered it uh, on this channel. Nicky Romero and David Guetta. The blaze on fire. The blaze. The blaze. The blaze on fire. <laughs> I was five and he was six He rode a horse made of sticks He would always win the fight Bang bang He shot me down Bang bang I hit the ground Bang bang My baby shot me Oh, wait, wait, wait. Something happened to my stream or what? How it changed so fast to the... Uh, uh, I know this song is such, such a lovely song. Hold on. Baraka by Garmiani. It's this fucking song, bro. When I heard this song for the first time this year, bro. I, I fell in love with it. Such a great EDM recording. Pretty much my favorite EDM recording so far. Damn, it changed so fast. I think... My internet has some problems, so so it being live stream, it just like jumped to what is happening right now. You know, maybe my stream was lagging a little bit, was behind a little bit. To this is them. I want to. Yeah, Cardi B. It's been a minute. I haven't heard from this girl. 
I need money moves. I'm like, okay. Oh damn, she's jumping <laughs> so much, so heavily. I actually said at the beginning of the stream that it's a Canadian flag. I just realized it's not Canadian, it's P uh, from Peru. Damn, I haven't heard this song in years. I wish I knew the name though, because like I really want to put it in my library and listen to it. Yes, 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 my love takes over, it's complicated, no it's and it never felt so good. In a way, this is like a compilation of their get his best songs pretty much. I was thinking of doing that video, but now it's pretty much fulfilled. <laughs> when love takes... No, you can't deny... Bam, bam, ultra. You know what? I came to a realization that um, I need to save up money and go to this place next year. Cause like, who knows how long the Gator will keep doing this? What if he's gonna end this soon and I will miss out on being on Ultra Music Festival? on there and get a set I need to be there next year bro that's it that's the goal I'm putting <laughs> in front of myself I'm not huge on rave parties at all so like I haven't been there even like one time but the only place I actually want to visit when it comes to raves is this place Ultra Music Festival in Miami bro Are we gonna put so on fire or what? we will so definitely next year is the goal now I didn't really reflect on the things they get said. I think it's really important that he said that he has he is always worried before he comes to the stage. He's worried how this set's gonna go every time, but like when the the worries, all the nervousness drops when he's actually having fun here. Which is nice, which is awesome. I'm glad that he said it, you know. We're all humans, you know. They get a feeling anxious before this kind of a set is normal. I'm melting from there to get a set. <laughs> Damn bro, it's been an hour, isn't it? It's been an hour since his set started. I think we're gonna finish soon. So what's what's the last song? Is it the She Wolf? Bro, like my disc is almost full. <laughs> I have I don't have enough space on it. Freaking computer this let's wrap it up I'm scared for my recordings to be honest I forgot the name of the song why can I rem remember what's the name of the song bro David it's been an hour honestly like you gotta wrap it up because like I don't want to end it but like bro my, my MacBook is air is not he holding and like is not handling it anymore Bro, maybe Sam is right. Maybe Apple products suck. <laughs> I think it's it's coming to an end. Okay, guys. So it's like it's stuck, bro. <laughs> it, like the, my video recordings, it didn't make it, bro. Like without you was played right now. Without you. Yeah. Did you get a close with without you? Um, he closed with without you actually. Shut up. <laughs> okay, it's done. Uh, in 2017, when I was here in, uh, oh, I'm sorry, when David Guetta was here in San Diego, uh, he closed it with without you, and it was amazing. Here, same here. Um, David Guetta delivered a beautiful speech. Uh, that um, you know, without you guys, uh, Ultra Music Festival wouldn't be here at this point. You know, like the, you are, you guys are. Uh, keep pushing this uh, festival you keeping it alive by coming to the show every year and I'm so excited and I'm so happy that I can be here uh, every year he says and then he also says that um, he's happy to be here every year and like 
because of all of these emotions and like the fan love and things like that so i uh, really appreciate what he said there and like uh we and with without you and you know we cannot do it you know like uh we um oh is this martin garrix saying i'm sorry martin i said shut up I'm I, oh no, no okay this guy this fucker he was talking and then the microphone was given to martin garrix which disappeared already um but uh yeah 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 my my cute boy over there <laughs> anyway so uh yeah bro like without you such a great record one of my favorite songs by david get as well i have a lot of favorite songs by david get it to be honest because he's such a great artist um we're gonna end it here i'm so sorry that um you know my computer almost crashed like i was so worried that uh the the recording slip it's saving it's still like saving about a minute like the quick time motherfucking player it's still saving my long ass video <laughs> look at this face <laughs> dead ass face <laughs> it's um yeah bro it's like i sorry i couldn't make it like literally stopped and then said oh you gotta save the video now otherwise it's gonna be deleted like we don't have enough space we cannot record it anymore so yeah we're gonna end it here bros thank you so much for what <laughs> i felt like a video fight <laughs> you're gonna end it here bros <laughs> but yeah let's do it let's do it because like we lost to c series bro we lost the T-Series and um, we're gonna keep pushing PewDiePie's name out there because even if he's not number one anymore, he's number one always in our hearts. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Hit the like button if you like this video. Uh, you know, hit the like button if you enjoyed the uh, David Guedes uh, Ultra Music Festival set. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Subscribe to this channel, bro. I react to some edm songs uh you know all the time you know, so definitely there will be suggestions by the way uh to my reaction videos uh on skrillex on, on the get uh it's coming so i'll see you over there bye mm -hmm.